In this tutorial we'll be creating this amazing 3D text using Element 3D within After Effects. I'll be showing you how to create these passes that you see on the screen so you can add some extra spice to your text animations. Let's get into it. Let's start off by creating a composition. And let's create a solid for our background. Let's duplicate it and call this element. And create a camera, like so. Let's add a text, call this tutorial. And I'm just going to center it in my composition here. You don't have to do that, but I'm just used to it. Okay, let's go ahead and hide the text and drop it underneath here. Go into your element layer and add the element to it. Under custom layers, text and mask, let's go ahead and add our text. And go into scene setup. Hit extrude and our text is here. Now once you go into your presets, under bevels you should have physical, which is a bunch of presets you can use. Let me choose one that I like, I believe it is mirror. Yeah, we'll go with this one. Let me just go into the chrome material here and make sure the glossiness is set to 80. I don't want it too glossy. And another thing, let's go into environment. And once you click here, it should take you to the folder where you have some of the environment maps that comes with element. So let me choose this one. All right, hit OK. Now let's start animating this. So go into group one. Uh, let's set a keyframe for the Z position, the X rotation, and under particle look, let's go ahead and enable multi object so we can animate the characters individually. Set a keyframe for the random rotation here and the displace, just so you can see. Let's hit U to bring these up, and I'm gonna drag this forward here. Now let's add some keyframes to the beginning of this, so some displacement, random rotation. And like so, this really depends on you. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and add a position keyframe for our camera as well. So drag this here and zoom in here. All right, this is our zoom out effect kind of thing. Let's go ahead and select these, hit F9. And I'm gonna go into the graph and drag all of these like so. So we get this smoother zoom out kind of effect. Now something I like to do with the camera movement, which is not very common I believe, is creating a null object, making it 3D, parenting our camera to the null, and let's see where our camera keyframe ends. So I'm gonna hit P for position on the null, drag this right before this keyframe, and let's go forward here, and drag our Z position on the null object. So basically we create this smooth camera movement that's continuous and we don't have to play with the camera keyframes in case we want to add some more to it later on. Again, this is just something that I like to add. Now let's start adding some of the effects and making this look nice. So go into element, let's close this down, go into render settings, under physical environment we have rotate. Let's set a keyframe for the Y here, let's bring this up and drag this back here, go to the end of our composition and maybe set this to minus 20. And what that does is gives rotation to the environment so it looks like it's reflecting something, it just looks much nicer to keep it looking alive. All right, once we've done that, let's go and enable ambient occlusion here, set it to five. It doesn't really matter, we don't have much ambient occlusion here, maybe around the area here. Uh, let's go to our light settings here and choose a preset that I like, I believe it's cinema. Okay, and let's make a light as well and drag it backwards up. Just position this however you want to. You don't even have to add a light. All right, now this looks nice, but something that many people don't seem to fix very often is this flickering that we get on the edges here, which is very disturbing and makes it look unprofessional. So a very easy fix is you go into the output here on your element and set the multi-sampling to 16 and the super sampling to 2. So if you can see, if we play this back, it's barely flickering now and looks much cleaner and nicer. So keep that in mind. Okay, now let's go ahead and add some of the effects that you've seen in the beginning of this video. Let's duplicate our element layer and name this glow and isolate it. Now something that I like to add to fake sort of a glare effect is go to output here and under composite, change this to specular. And we basically isolated the specular pass, which we can now work with. Okay, now you see we got some white here, that's probably because of the lights. So what we can do is either move the light or add the levels to it 
and try to sort of isolate it so not much of it is visible like so we do want some of it to stay there just so we can have some nice reflections let's actually move the light a bit here so you can already see we're getting a nice like outline effect with the glowing here but we still have a bunch of flickering here that is pretty annoying so let's go ahead and fix this so we can increase the multi sampling here to 32 and the super sampling to 4 uh, this might get a little heavy so make sure you do this once you're rendering but as you can see we fixed most of it now something cool you can add to this is a deep glow or a regular glow and as you can see we got those nice glows around the edges of the text let's go ahead and play with the settings here and set the layer to additive now play them both together and as you can see we get this very nice glare type of effect here on our text now another effect i've added here at the beginning is a cc radial fast blur so if we go ahead and set this to 85 uh, and play with the center here you can see we get those nice rays effect that way we can composite on top of our text and it looks pretty awesome and the only other thing i've added here is a background so if we pre-compose this and maybe add some curves so yeah this is how you create this type of 3d text in after effects i hope this was useful thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one